Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. I haven't done a video in a while, and I thought, why not? You know, um, I've been wanting to get back into it. I've been messing around a lot in Python. Um, I'm not a Python expert by any means. I've messed around with it here and there. And most recently, uh, I connected to a database of mine for a school project, and I created random users into our users table just for some data. Uh, I know our teacher, she wanted some different data thrown into our tables for our project and I thought I would create fake users that looked real uh, and throw those into my database and how I did that actually is I used a Python package that generated random names and then I use those names to generate an email and a password and that password was hashed and all that stuff but and then throw that in the database so I want to show you guys how you can use a package to generate random names. I don't know how useful this will be. Uh, I feel like I feel like the use case is uh, not too. It's not something that happens very often, but I think it's cool nonetheless that this uh, is a thing. So I thought I would go ahead and share it with you guys. So first, you have to get the package, right? You have to download it. You can either pip install this package, which is called names, so you can use pip install names, but I'm on PyCharm here, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that if you also use PyCharm, which I believe is pretty popular. Um, I'm not sure what the Python community uses the most, but I know Py, or PyCharm's a pretty popular IDE. Um, I will also link this project uh, in the description, this package, so you can go ahead and check it out all the documentation and stuff. But to go ahead and add it to our PyCharm project, we go to File, Settings, and then the project. I named my project name, uh, so it'll be project and whatever you named your project, and then Project Interpreter. And this is where we go ahead and add different packages. So you can see that there's any package under the sun here. And if I just scrolled to it, it'd take way too long. So I'm just gonna type names into the search bar here. Make sure it's highlighted, and make sure also it's the right one, and it is. Uh, we have generate random names. I <laughs> uh, can't go wrong with that. So let's install it. Take a second to download and install. You can see it's working down here. We're all good, and you can see now it's here. These are the two that come with any project by default, so you don't have to worry about that. Just let it be, um, and hit OK, and you're good to go. Just to make sure it runs, what you can do so you can hit this Python console and whoops, we can go ahead and import names and we didn't get an error so that's a good sign right names dot get and we can see that we got some some things popping up which means that we're in a good space um, so there are four main functions that you can use uh, with this package you can either get the full name it's a full generated name uh, or you can get first names and a last name and for the first names, you can actually declare if you want a female first name or a male first name. And you can also declare with the full name. So if I did get full name, and I didn't really specify anything in the parameters, I just hit enter, we can see that we get this Kathleen Gonzalez. Uh, but if I did the same thing but in the parameters, and I put gender if I can spell it gender equals and then this is where you put either male or female so let's do male we get Earl now just to show you if we do the same thing uh, but we do female we get we get Mary pretty self-explanatory so if we go to import names at the very top names uh, dot get first name and we can also do a gender that will just give us a first name though we won't have this hafer or beats I guess is how be be bietes bietes that doesn't even make sense because there's no e right there you know what I'm saying hopefully <laughs> uh, so you can go ahead and specify gender with the first name but if you do the last name get last name you don't have to specify gender because last names are not really gender specific right um, so that is a way that you can go ahead and generate random names. So if we do for a and range, um, let's just whoops, let's just do zero to one hundred. Let's generate a hundred different names. 
and then we'll print name dot guess get first name and we're not going to specify gender. If we go ahead and run this, we can see <laughs> we can see we have a problem. What's the problem here? Oh, this was a previous. Whoops. We we are running the wrong thing. Let's go ahead and run the right the right thing now. So you can see that it just spat out and I don't know how much time that was. Uh 100 names. Hundred first names. And then if we did get full name, of course, as you guessed, it'll give us the full name. It takes a little longer. Um, but the documentation says that the, all of these names came from census data from 1990. So don't expect any new names that came out since 1990. Because I doubt they're in here. Uh, unless someone was named that at the time. But... It's what the documentation says, so I'll take its word for it. Once again, I'll link this below. I found this a pretty useful package, pretty useful project. Uh, it's pretty cool, especially in my case where I actually had a use case for it. I created random users for my database table, and I created 500 users with, you know, 15 lines of code, and that includes inserting them into my database. So, uh, and it took probably uh, eight minutes to create that after looking up all this stuff in probably like, I don't know, 20 seconds to run. So um, definitely worth a look at uh, if you want to play around with it. And I thought you guys might enjoy this. So I'll probably have some more Python videos coming out. Uh, I wanted to get back into this, so I thought this would be a good starting point. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.